Dr. Lecter, I'm Charles Sterling. I wonder could I ask you a few questions. You're one of Jack Crawford's, aren't you? Yes. Can I see your credentials? Certainly. Closer, please. Well, this expires in one week. You're not real FBI, are you? I'm a student at the academy. Jack Crawford sent a trainee to me. I'm a student. I'm, I'm here to learn from you. And maybe you can decide for yourself whether I'm qualified to do so. That's rather slippy of you, Agent Sterling. Tell me, what did Migs say to you? Multiple Migs in the next cell. He hissed at you, what did he say? He said, I can smell your dick. I see. I myself cannot. You use Evian skin cream? And sometimes you wear layer to thump, but not today. Do you do all these paintings yourself? That is uh, Duomo, seen from the Belvedere. Do you know Florence? You do all these from memory, sir? Memory, Agent Starling, is what I have instead of a view. Well, maybe you could uh, view this questionnaire I have. You're doing fine. You've been courteous and receptive to courtesy. You would establish trust with the embarrassing truth about Migs. And now this ham-handed segue into your questionnaire. I'll do. I'm only asking would you have a look at this, Doctor? It's, um, you either will or you won't. Jack Crawford must be very busy indeed. If he's recruiting help from his student body. Busy hunting that new one. Buffalo Bill. What a naughty boy he is. Do you know why he's called Buffalo Bill? The newspapers won't say. It started as a bad joke in the Kansas City Homicide Department. One detective said, this one skins his humps. What do you think he removes their skins, Agent Sterling? Thrill me with your acumen. It excites him. And many Serial killers will take a trophy from their victims. I didn't. No. No, you ate yours. Send that through now. Oh, Agent Sterling, you think you could dissect me with this blunt little tail? No, I just thought your knowledge was... would be... You're ambitious, aren't you? Do you know what you look like? With your cheap jacket and your bad haircut. You look like a rube. A well scrubbed, hustling rube. With a little taste. Good nutrition's giving you strengthy bones. But you're no more than one generation from poor white trash, aren't you? And that accent you've tried so desperately to shed. Pure West Crumlin. What is your father? Coal miner? Does he stink of the lamp? How quickly the boys found you. All those tedious, sticky fumblings in the back seats of cars. Well, you could only dream of getting out, getting anywhere, getting all the way to the FBI.
Ja siellä latata. Can you turn that power or perception around and look at yourself? What about it? Can you turn a finger around and point it at you? And the things you've done? And write it down? Or are you afraid? The census taker once tried to test me. I cut him up into little pieces and flushed him down the toilet. Let's go back to school now, little Sterling. Go on. Fly, fly, fly. Agent Sterling. I would not let that happen to you. This courtesy is unspeakably ugly. Well, do me test it. No. But I'll give you a chance for what you love most. What's the advancement? Now listen carefully. Look deep within yourself, Charlie. Go seek out Miss Moffat. An old patient of mine, M O F E T. I don't think Miggs could manage again so soon, even though he is crazy. <laughs>